Hello and welcome to Risking It for the Biscuit. I am the host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Well, how how good of a biscuit is it? Uh, Jason Amherst. Uh, is it one of those like red lobster ones? Maybe. And Ashley Miller. Taste the biscuit. You Just know, so the biscuit. I'll. I'm gonna die on this. <laughs> I, I. I don't see the problem with Popeye's biscuits. You've never almost choked to death on one. Well, the no. The problem is that when you can't eat a Popeye's biscuit without uh, drinking something. I well, prove that wrong. Do, you get a severe case of cotton mouth. The thing about getting a biscuit from a fast food restaurant is you cannot raw dog the biscuit. You gotta put something on it. Butter. Honey no. salt. Oh, you're not raw dog a biscuit, you sick freak. It's like you these people, these people eat one. Eat, these people want to eat biscuits without putting something on it. It's like honey, you do not eat a biscuit. No, you, you could put a, yeah, you could put honey on a biscuit. You're right. Honey, the boo-boo child. You know, speaking of speaking of honey biscuit, actually, uh, the uh, Wendy's uh, honey butter chicken biscuit breakfast sandwich really fucking good. Oh yes, they are. And keep this Wendy's breakfast actually serves potato wedges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Potato wedges. The only potato wedges I like are KFC ones. Which don't exist anymore. I know, that's the problem. Well, go to Wendy's. So, so get some at Wendy's breakfast, and that's the closest you can get to it now. It's not the breakfast same. Breakfast meal that includes the, the chicken honey biscuit sandwich and the fucking potato wedges and... You could also get a frosty coffee. Which that shit's pretty good too, my guy. Frosty coffee? I mean, it's just, it's just flavored coffee. It's really yeah. like not anything special. <laughs> but it's still good though. Something about a case, case of malaria? What? No, that's that's not what I said. <laughs> you dunkled hunt. <laughs> I was gonna say queso malaria. What? No, case of malaria. <laughs> I think uh, I suspect that you guys need to clean uh, out your. Uh, <laughs> hey, I have an excuse. Okay, I'm on a mobile network. And as Mike has told me, oh, I can't. My hearing is damaged because, well, he, it, it, actually, it's a really sad story. So I'm not going to make it mind of it. Uh, I got myself another liquid deck with a severed lime. And this. Uh, Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god. Why did, why did you do what? I accidentally shook the can. Why did I do You're that? You're now. Uh, well, time to go splash my gash. I'll be right back. Excuse did me. you say splash your gash? Okay, I'm good. It didn't spill out over me. Mike, 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 why? Why does why, why she do these things? I don't. You're asking me? <laughs> you. Well, I don't know, I I don't know shit it. about fuck, my man. No. I was preparing for the inevitability that it was going to s explode, explode and splash all over my lap. And it didn't. Because even though it is liquid death, it is still sparkling water, which has carbonation. Eric Blackheart points. 
Uh, goodbye. Oh, you guys can do this No, don't lose your will to live. Eric Blackheart points. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. That's a portal. Listen, nobody. Po okay. Hey, listen, nobody points like Eric Blackheart points. Yes, done. Uh, apparently, D Dane couldn't hear it, but when I hit the up button on my D-pad, it goes. Eric Blackheart points. Wow. Well, I also see the instruction. I, I couldn't button. hear it. Yeah, it's the game is saying Eric Blackheart points. It's like reading it. Gotcha. I don't know why it does that, but it does that. Eric Blackheart ponders. Uh, the govern it's it's the governor's debate in Indiana uh, at the time of this recording. Gag. Gag. Gash. You know what sounds really good right now? Like, I'm just, I've been in a comfort food mood and I'm about ready to get some, like, beef and noodles with, like, some mashed potatoes and peas. But you know what sounds really good after Jason and I kind of unintentionally brought it up? You know what sounds really good right now? Uh, KFC mashed potatoes and gravy. Just fried chicken and biscuits. Like, the juiciest, the juiciest, meatiest fried chicken. And just homemade biscuits. You know what sounds really good right now? Tongue in the butt. If I shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, that's not what I said. I was, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Uh, yeah, sometimes I get a little mouthy. Tongue in the butt. Tongue in the butt. But be proud of me. I'm actually taking the piss out of myself and I'm not being all her but derp you know, buffer. Make cream will berry about it. Riding on a bus, riding, riding on a bus. bus. What the fuck is hey, that? Thing? Hey, what you see? <laughs> I don't Bad would be walking over. Hope that isn't pain. What you see? I'm not gonna lie, you are a surgeon with that shotgun. I I am. I thought you were gonna say I'm a Sherpa with the shotgun, <laughs> which is the no, new, which is Rutger Hauer's you're next actually, project. You're actually a hobo. That, that sounds like a great movie idea. Sherpa, Sherpa, with, Sherpa with the shotgun. I I want Rutger Hauer to do it if he wasn't dead. Oh yeah, the the gravity's off now. Oh, nice jump. Nice catch, Blink only. Oh, that's you know, I actually I actually thought Rucker Howard was still alive, but no, he is not. Oh, Ron well, then, I, I, then I then I don't want Sherpa with a shotgun because he's the only one that could do do, do it justice. Do 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 do, 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 do it justice. <laughs> do, 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 do justice. So a bunch of a uh, bunch of records had uh, anti theft devices on them. At Target, except for uh, apparently Weezer's Blue Album. Yeah, so, who, who gives a shit about that so, one? So, somebody, uh, somebody tweeted out: Target doesn't care if you steal Weezer. Weezer uh, retweeted it saying, "Freezer." Ha! Ha ha! He ho oh. ho! Hold on, just a goddamn minute. Weezer. The Blue Album has such banging tunes as My Name is Jonas and Buddy Holly and The Sweater Soul and Surf Wax America and Say It Ain't So. So you, Mr. Riley, shut your goddamn fat pie hole. What, what and you put wait, some respect. What did I say? So nobody cares about Weezer, The Blue Album. Oh. You know what? That was actually... I, I will say this. That was probably just a force of habit to say that. Stream of consciousness. I have been up since 8.30. <laughs> Mike's a working class boy now. Like I, I've been a working class me. boy. I was never not well, a working class boy. 
Well, he's a working class boy. Working class boy. Working class boy. Working asshole. Well, well yeah, it's it's. I'm a working class asshole because I work from 4 p.m. to 2:30 a.m. Sunday through the, Wednesday. Yeah, uh, the unrecorded version of that John Lennon song, "Working Class Asshole," something to do. I'm a working class asshole. A working class asshole is something. Oh, hello, John. Do you want to write stuff, buddy? The working class ass 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 ass. Wow, I don't know what the hell that is, but that looks cool. It's uh Fibonacci. I don't know. Yeah. It looks like a portal to a dimension of milk. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the conduit in 13 Ghosts. That room with the weird spinning metal shit. Oh, yeah. When I, th I'll be honest with you. That is not the first thing I think of when I think of 13 Ghosts, obviously. If you know me, you know, you, what, you know what the first thing I think of is. You think of the naked bath lady. Yeah. The naked princess, yeah. Yeah. I, I what a well what a hell of a thing, thing to have to do to wander the hall. Not only wander the halls of the house, but also naked. Never allowed I, to I wear only, clothes again. I could only hope if they were to remake Thirteen Ghosts that there's like a really good intimacy coordinator, just to make it look like. Imagine it if the naked princess was quote unquote naked prince. And we could get prosthetic cleaner. Who says it needs to be prosthetic? Um, a lot of intimacy coordinators nowadays, if an actor's going to do a, a frontal nude scene, especially if it's a man, he gets to choose the penis, especially if, like, let's say his, his character has a small penis and he doesn't. He may need to have a prosthetic small penis attached to him. Or maybe the character is getting a blowjob on screen. He has to wear a prosthetic penis because no one wants to, you know, get caught by the FCC getting a blowy on 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 stage on set. I've been I've been kind of fascinated by intimacy coordination as of late. It's an interesting uh, topic to search and, and uh, observe. Like the cop socks have been upgraded to carry ball pouches and they have adhesive straps and it's almost like you're wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Flanders. That's so sad that Flanders gets shit on and yet he has been blessed with like the most bodacious butt cheeks. Not to mention... His a gi a gigantic wiener. Yeah, too bad that he has lost both of his wives. Poor Flanders. Just give that man some, for, like, a forever wife. That, you know, won't die because of a fucking t-shirt gun or whatever fucking you, killed you Flander Flanders has a gigantic gun. Correct. <laughs> Wait, is that true? Yeah, remember the video where, or the the episode where Homer shoots a dating video for him, and he does a. There's a shot of of Ned in the shower with his dong out, and it's censored, of course. But no, I I I do not remember this. Okay. I do not is, remember. Wasn't the joke that he kept using the star wipe? Yeah, exactly. And Star Wipe. You had this big video editing doc back before you could just do it on a computer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, so God has blessed Ned Flanders with like a sense of of like honor and a bodacious butt cheeks and a fucking a drench down there? Jesus. Hey, hey Ashley. What? Clock you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, casual racism in video games. Real. I, 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 I always thought that character was funny. Just 
freaking shouting out various Go Chinese away. restaurant dishes. Popo plata. Popo plata. Popo plata. Popo plata. Well, we're thinking of two different characters, I think. Poor Jess Harnell oh, yeah, had one. to be saddled with doing that. I don't know why, but the only it was, character it was that great. Comes... Uh, it was it was great practice though for uh, drawn together. Oh, was he Ling Ling? No, he's Captain no, Hero. But, but I mean, like, let's face it, that entire show was uh, one of the most un PC shows of all time. Yep. Oh yeah. It's I'll amazing it ever get produced. And actually, fun fact, that show led to the production of the anime, Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Um, All right, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta... Uh, I'll be right she back. gotta look up Penny and Stocking with Garter Belt. It's, it's, it's an anime that actually, finally, all these years later, is getting a second season. Basically, while vacationing in America, in Hawaii, uh, the producers at uh, Gynax saw Drawn Together, and they were like, <laughs> American adult animation is so funny. Huh, we should try our hands at that. And they decided to make an anime in the style of Western adult animation that basically was a raunchy adult comedy spoofing tokusatsu tropes and anime tropes at the same time. It was about two angels who fought demons on Earth called Anarchy Stalking and Anarchy Panty. And the two of them used their namesake weapons, stockings, which turned into katanas, and a pair of panties, which turned into a gun, and they fought demons with them. Interesting. And and they took orders from a black priest named Garterbelt. They had a little mascot that was this little dog name, like this little dog dude that looked suspiciously like Gur from Invader Zim, who had a big zipper on him, and his name was Chuck. You know, just zipper. And there was an annoying uh, human sidekick character named Briefs. Hmm. Yeah, like, oh, and the, uh, the villains were named Scanty and Me Socks. Okay. Yeah. But was it any good? That's the question. It was extremely good. Okay. So much so that people were lamenting the fact that they teased the second season at the end of the first season and nothing was ever done with it. And then years later, the studio that was formed from the ashes of Gynax, Trigger, finally got the rights to it and said, hey, we're making a sequel. Speaking of things that are coming out years later, I don't know if this is breaking news for you guys, but I just saw a picture here. New episodes of Tales from the Crypt starting October 25th on HBO Max. Interesting. I huh. did. This is the first I'm hearing about this. That's, uh, that's pretty darn cool. Yeah, it is. I remember wow, watching this was the kind of announced series. out of nowhere. What was the Rhode Island out of Comic nowhere? Con. Oh. Rhode Island Comic Con just announced out of nowhere Gary Anthony Williams. Oh, shit. Meet a cast member of Who's Line. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus, yeah. <laughs> Again, I know him from Who's Line, but that's, yeah. Yeah. My name is Uncle Rock. He's fucking. Uh, he is pretty fucking hilarious. I will give him that. Give you that. He, I, he I, was Uncle, I thought somebody else was Uncle Ruckus. Never mind. Yeah, he uh, he's he's done some hilarious videos clowning around with uh, 
some wrestlers too. Okay. Clowning around with uh, Shelton Benjamin and uh, Omos. Omos. Yep, let's have a seven, 76 foot tall man, but let's not put him on TV for months. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty sure him being there was a Vince idea. That's why he's probably not getting used a lot. Yeah. Well, recently came out in an interview uh, with uh, uh, Coachman that uh, Vince absolutely hated NXT with a passion because uh, it was more popular than anything he was doing. Yeah, and well. it was a uh, Triple H uh, idea. That's why the minute anybody came up from NXT, they immediately got shit on and uh, pushed to the side. Ooh. That's also why every uh, every fan out there in existence at the time was going. Please don't call them up to the main roster. Please don't call them up to the main roster. Please don't call them up to the main roster. Okay, dokey. We're going to call up uh, the, that one South African guy that was dancing a lot. No way, Jose. Wait. No. Who's that? Who's that uh, the British guy? That, that vaguely British guy? Uh, Wade Barrett? Sure. I, I don't. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> he had. He had the. He had the uh, fucking the 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 posse that would always dance to the ring with him. The, the bunny rabbit. Oh, too. Uh, Adam Rose. Yeah. Hey, here's a guy who was really popular on NXT. Let's totally fuck up his main roster push. Uh. Jesus, we're flying through this. Speed run! Oh, wow. Kane Hodder's going to be at uh, Rhode Island Comic Con, too. Hmm. Jason Voorhees! Jason Voorhees! <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> also, I am Weasel. Michael Dorn is going to be there. Nice. Oh, Sweet I know. Dude. Sorry, I only know him as Worf. Worf. <laughs> Oh my god, now this is what I've been waiting for my motherfucking whole day. Okay. Now it's Jeez. just uh, it's some homemade beef and noodles, mashed potatoes, and um, uh, peas. Like, I've just been in the mood for comfort food. Like, I need comfort. Steak, Either steak, comfort steak, food. Steak, a small amount of peas. <laughs> is it what? <laughs> Thank you. Um, all I know is that the one downside of this weekend is I'm going to be able to go to my book club meeting because I'm going to be watching the dog because uh, my mom and her boyfriend are going to an uh, auto plate show that happens only once a year. But tomorrow, I'm going to go see my forbidden Atlas and... If I have time, I'm going to stop by a record shop there. I thought, not, I thought you were going to say Mike Forbidden. Or I thought you said that. Mike Forbidden. You want to go see Mike? That's forbidden. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen. That's forbidden. If, well, if, if I'm talking about... We have to do it like Newman. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh, uh. Oh. 
If I'm talking about seeing a mic, it's either going to be our mic or a comic who has the name mic. And as of right now, the comic I've seen uh, perform is Mike Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. It's Mike Berbiglia. It's now or never. No. I can just only hope that yes. everything goes well. Okay. I'm in the middle of a tour that he's doing, and I think he's trying to prep for doing another like big comedy special. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Oh, Sacre oh. bleu. I like talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> Sacre bleu. I like talking to you. You're doing really Apparently, good, Mike. I am Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> Mike, I'm really proud of you. You're doing so great. Thanks. Ashley. Mom. It, 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 it's quick. Okay? Mike didn't... What? Mike didn't cure ball cancer. Listen, quake to me is like stereo instructions. It's... <laughs> oh... And I... Oh. And I... Oh. No, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, oh. oh. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Di da do da di da di. Oh, that boy ain't right there. That's my first Rail gun! Which is actually in the in the real N64 game, uh, it's blue. But since this is, they're using Quake 2 PC's assets for this. Uh, oh my god. They my We're missing law and order for this shit. Oh, no, we're not missing law and order. Okay. Shit. Yeah. You jumped up here just to die. What an idiot. Hurrah. I'm blasting ass through this. You're doing so great. We, we might beat this Quake 264 campaign in this episode, actually. Wow. Hey, you know what? Go for it. Follow you your dreams. Go for it. There's still some leftover vegan noodle. I may get seconds. Will you? Oh, goodness me. Do you like beef and noodles, Bane? I guess it depends. Homemade beef and noodles? Uh, well, I wish that you guys 
I wish I could make beef and noodles as good as my mom's. She makes pretty fucking good beef and Like, don't get me wrong, I'm an okay cook, but I've just never been good at like making pastas from scratch. Like Amish egg noodles and shit. I can watch all the Food Network shows I fucking want. I can try to follow the recipe down to the letter, and somehow it still doesn't come out perfecto. Okay. It's for a bear. 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 Chase, where are you finding these pictures? I figured that's what was being Internet. posted. I figured something was being posted in the chat, and that's why I heard my notifications go off. Jesus. <laughs> it's oh, a picture God. of Bloody Mary, but served with a rotisserie oh. chicken as a garnish. This <sighs> Boston. Oh. Do you guys see that those Bloody Mary drinks keep getting more and more extravagant? And now there's a fucking chicken with it? That, that's what I shared. Yeah, I, I know. I got the same message. Meanwhile, in Japan, High Fiber Coke Zero. What? High fiber, Coke Zero. Oh, in case you want to shit and piss. For eternity. <laughs> so a friend of mine is in Japan right now. He went to a 7-Eleven and he posted on Discord, High fiber, Coke Zero. It's called Coca-Cola Plus. Yeah, I swear, good. I thought you were saying high five. Or Coke Zero, leading me to believe, like, oh, do you want a high fiber or a Coke Zero? No, no, high fiber Coke Zero. Well, yeah, I, I get it now. Like, do do you want your Coke Zero with Metamucil in it? No. Oh, no, no. Do. <laughs> mm. ah. Thank you. Go, go, go. But no, I do not want my uh, Coke Zero with Metamucil. We're kind of sick. What are we dealing with here? What kind of fucking <laughs> question is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, you, know, you know the joke of coffee making you poop? How about Coke making you poop? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm sure I'm sure Billy would enjoy it. How about let, let's make Coke Coke? Yeah, spring a little bit of Coke into uh, some Coca-Cola. Oh, so old style Coke. Oh. Oh, uh, so here's something interesting. Uh, there, there's a guy on Twitter called Sonic the Cosplayer. And uh, he actually made a playable triple neck guitar inspired by the animated show Sonic Underground. 
Okay. I failed to see the point. And uh, Shota Nakama actually played it on stage at one of the Sonic Symphony shows. Oh my. Yeah, it is one of the most unwieldy things. Like, you know, the, the idea of a double neck guitar is already pretty ridiculous because it's like, you know, you can only play one guitar at a time. You know, and then it's like, oh yeah, no, like we put a third neck on it for no reason. Why? Because cartoon, fuck you. <laughs> because fuck you, that's why. Pretty much. Yeah. Then again, I, I forgot what uh, band. There's a guy who had like a something, some sort of stupid bass guitar that had like an, like a ridiculous number of strings, and he absolutely hated it with a passion. But people love whenever he would pull it out on stage. Talking about cheap, cheap trick, double neck guitar. No, it wasn't a double neck guitar. It was just a guitar with a shitload of strings. Yeah. I don't know what band that is then. Yeah, I, I, I saw the picture and I'm like, why would you put this many strings on a guitar? This is so stupid. Like it was it was like a 12 string guitar or something fucking unwieldy like that. It was like, what? Listen, Steve Vai called. He wants to talk about the triple neck guitar. <laughs> now, if we had a quadruple neck guitar, then we're talking. It's a, it's a sex topple neck guitar. I, I can go for one of those. It's a guitar that can only be played by a Hindu deity. All right, cool. Come on in. It's uh, Vishnu's guitar. Bloop, 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 bloop. wall bits <laughs> how'd you know how'd you know my character my character name from uh, uh, Mission Hill <laughs> Ooh, that guy won't be in Quake 3 <laughs> <laughs> or 4 or any of the other Quakes Good dude. You good? All right. You doing all right? Okay. Okay. You're good. Wait. What? What? What's going on? Sorry, dude. Why is kill you? Why is Jace turning into Doug Dimmadown? From no, the Johnny Bravo. They're doing the monkey. Doug Dimmadown. Oh. Denzel Dimmadown. Not right. Not right. No? <laughs> um, okay, I have returned. This time with Orange Pepper Charm. I know a guy who uh, cosplays Doug Dimodome, actually. Complete with Gigantic Hat. 
That's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. well, that's delicious. Mm, Doug Dimmer Dome is delicious. Um, what? Doug Dimmer Delicious. Uh, Holy crap, there's like only three more spots left. I, I think there's like literally like five more levels in this in this campaign. <sighs> the fruit. There we go. Just one triple net to get on. <laughs> then he pooped his mammy. And then he farted on something. I don't know. Fuck it. Go to Camp Paul Rocket! Hey, no, I'm good at stuff! Go to Camp Paul Rocket! This is mad, you a bathtub! And you a jute! You, and you a t <laughs> I don't know. And you bathtub hero! And you a double ton hero! And a tactical hero! Tactical hero! Yeah. Be a jukebox hero. That's what you gotta be. That yeah, guys? That's like when that's like when Foreigner talked about Jewbox heroes. Sorry, the band's breaking me. Um okay. Wow. Excuse me. God forbid I tell a joke. God forbid Jesus I yell Lord. I smell a joke. Jesus Lois. Being a fucking dick. Did you just say Dimodome of the Dimsdale Dimodome? Right. That, that actually reminds me. I was watching uh, the Mario 64 playthrough that we were doing a couple of months ago. And it was in the... Uh, the sunken pirate ship where Mike was trying to do the treasure chests in order, and every time he hit the wrong one, we kept going, Not right. Not right. <laughs> yep. That that was certainly not annoying at all. <laughs> well, I should have given you the resolve to, to get the right uh, the right uh, treasure chest so we, that we wouldn't say it anymore. Clementine. 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 What? Hooray. Oh. <laughs> Where were you? We are definitely blasting through this. Hooray, oh blast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Jimbo! You guys. Hey, Jimbo! Uh, I'm starting to, Jimmy, I'm starting to su suspect that your fat friend is trying to make a move on your mom. Uh oh. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a peppered farm orange chocolate in my cookie? Mm. It's amazing. Have you it's guys. Delicious. Ever had a, a Pepperidge Farm cookies and cream douche rinse? Oh, I, I swear by it. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Have oh, you just guys ever had a Pepperidge Farm cookies and cream anal ass blasting? Absolutely. I had one just the other day. Delicious. Well, that's, not a, that's, that's not a douche. That's an enema. I never said it was a douche. Those are two different products, Ashley. Yeah, pay attention. Yeah. The, I am the, douche, the douche is cookies and cream. That's right. 
this was strawberries and cream. It's different. Hey, listen. Don't get mad because you don't listen. Yeah. You silly sluts. Church I miss you. How can we miss you if you don't go away? <laughs> Have you guys ever had a Pepperidge Farm, orange and cream, dad never came home, prostate exam? Jesus, Michael. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a Pepperidge Farm, double chocolate, 9-11 was an inside job, <laughs> colonoscopy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody oh my shoot god me. I, uh, I needed a minute <sighs> oh I think you got your minute alright oh man have you guys ever had a pepperidge farm spumoni flavored the sheriff is a dong 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 <laughs> Muffin top. <laughs> the sheriff is a dong. <laughs> Don't do that. The sheriff is a dong muffin. I could hear I could hear Jace laughing vaguely in the background. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Jace, oh Jace. God. Hey Jace. God say. <laughs> Have you ever had a Pepperidge Farm rainbow sherbet? The moon landing was faked by the Jews. Uh, rectal probe. Have you ever had one of Doctor Tran's hot dickables? <laughs> Have you ever that's had? That's what, this is, that's what this is devolved into. Uh, basically, Doctor Trans, good old fashioned, country farmed, non GMO hot dickables. <laughs> Mon you... Monsanto Corporation approved. <laughs> oh, Nestle. <laughs> have you ever had? Have you ever had a Pepperidge Farm Flint, Michigan water flavored? <laughs> Ferguson, Missouri. <laughs> Peanut butter pussy slap juicy juice. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? <laughs> I don't think I was speaking another language. Did he stutter? No. <laughs> I, honestly, my favorite part was the peanut butter pussy slap. <laughs> See, you see, Ashlethan. A <laughs> Ashlethan? <laughs> Ashlethan. That's her full name. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, what you do is you, you take a you take a, a couple of fingers full of peanut butter. Oh, I gotta turn the volume down on this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Miller! Let me tell you about the other pussy stuff. Well, I'm shut the door. Ashley, your friends are not allowed to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> Ashley? Ashley, that moron from New York. <laughs> Tom Bryce? She would probably... No. To, to be honest, <laughs> my mom probably like you better than some of the people Shelby built. Except when I told her about peanut butter pussy slaps, then then she's not too sure. I would I would hope that she would just roll her eyes and walk away. I mean, that's what Dane's dad does. Well, un until Dane's dad becomes, you know, fascinated and yeah, and then and then he then he stands by with a bowl of popcorn, imaginary or otherwise, and it's just like. 
What? We haven't had one of those moments in a while because, of course, uh, I haven't been home near the soundboard. Correct. Yes, we missed the brief oh. cameo by. I didn't. Uh, Dean's dad, I where he's like the what? I didn't mention. I didn't mention this, but after the show, after the uh, stage reading, and um, I went home, and I can see the gears in my dad's head turning. So he goes, "Let me ask you something." The guy who was doing all the ensemble things. That was one of your friends from the when you when you when you do the recordings. So I go, yeah. Is that the toilet guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh Dude, Jason! Oh Jason! You are now the toilet guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a thing to be known as. Oh god. The toilet uh, guy. I mean I, I I play that sound effect <sighs> along with other things. This is it's true, but I wouldn't want to be known <laughs> as the toilet guy. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. That 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 just means I got that skibbity Riz Ohio, right? Okay. <laughs> I will I will pay you a thousand dollars to never say that again. Yeah, especially the Ohio part. <laughs> <laughs> or the skibbids. No skibbids. <laughs> you know, in all this in all this confusion, I never actually got to explain to Ashley what a peanut butter pussy slap is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't need you to. No, that's, it's okay. I'm a What's, grown adult, Dane. I, la, I, la, I, la, 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 I need an adult. <laughs> What's that, Ashley? Explain it in great detail. I'll tell you what. Why don't you explain it to me in ASL? I am still learning. So uh, age, sex, location. What? So anyway... You take a cup, you cup a handful of peanut butter, and you go up to your lady's gagouche, and you just you slap that yeah, peanut butter know. on the gagouche. And uh, this, wow. this is this is why I wear headphones. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> well, and and have a studio. Oh, I didn't have my headphones. Hey. On standby because I had hi, hi, hi there, hi there. I'm Jason's mom. Uh, was that guy talking about peanut butter pussy slaps? <laughs> also, I'm at work in a vehicle right now <laughs> by myself. Thank God. Oh, thank God. I, 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 love, how, I love how everybody seems to gloss over that I just made Jason's mom Peter Griffin. I was gonna say, my, my mom sounds nothing at all like that. So uh, now the person, the person she's dating sounds like that. Yes, we know the the stunt, the stunt man sounds like that. Yes. <laughs> hey, how about we go out and get some ricotti? I feel like some beans here. Yeah, yeah. How about how about them red shocks, huh? Yeah. The local teams only matter when they're winning. And the only team that he cares about that isn't a local team is the Dolphins. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 God. Yeah. Not, no offense, but the Skullman has very bad taste in teams. Yeah, no, it's just like, really, man? The Dolphins? Yeesh. Yeah, that, that two one. Uh, Tongue in my butthole. He's a great quarterback. Um, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure that's the guy's name. Tongue in the butthole. That, yeah, two. Yeah, the, he's the guy who has all the concussions. Two with tongue in my butthole. Yeah, like he jumps into everything head first. Yeah. 
Come on, don't you know nothing? That was it. Wow. Yeah. We, Did you seriously? We beat wait, wait we beat second. Quake two sixty four campaign in an episode and about a quarter. <laughs> Because we started it with like oh, 10, wow. 10 minutes to go in the last episode, and now we we basically did the entire campaign in this one episode. So that means the next time we return to Quake Two, we'll start on the other uh, side campaigns. Yeah, There's only but three here's left. the thing. Here's the here's the really important thing. What are these legal notices that we're? What are these legal notices up there? See that? That. Uh, oh. Do not translate uh, or local. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and go to call the tutorial. call of the machine. I've done the tutorial. And then I will quick save and we'll be done. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Geo, and Jason Amherst, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody. Warm off.